This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Welcome to the C. Jane Sell Podcast, a relatable sales podcast for your weekly dose of sanity. I'm your host, Chelsea Dupre. And I'm your host, Lee Nevis. Hey everybody, it's another episode of CJ and Cell. Not the last one. <laughs> nope. Like, it's not. I might have said. <laughs> we recorded the intro and Chelsea's like, guys, this is the last episode of CJ and Cell for this year. And I just said, no, it's not. <laughs> like, okay, start over. <laughs> That's right. So That's um, for any future guests, see, we can start over. That's fine. We actually have three more weeks, three more pods until we take our actual hiatus and become a new, wonderful, exciting, improved us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a really great revamp. Um, but we just want to remind you. So when that hiatus happens, we don't want you to be freaking out, thinking that we've fallen off a cliff. Up and abandoned you. We have not. We are still going to be here. We're just rebooting. Reboot. Yay. Mm-hmm. So, that's what we're doing. Oh, hi, this is Lee. And, uh, this is Chelsea. And, um, how's your, how's your week been, Chelsea? Oh, I know you've had a really good week. It has been amazing. My familia is here. Mm-hmm. They're taking little nappy poos, sleeping, actually, um, in their rooms, and just chilling. We've gone to the horse races at Keeneland in Lexington, lost some money. As you do. Um, <laughs> turns out we're not really good at betting on horses. Um, I thought just looking at their hamstrings was enough to let you know which one would be the fastest. No. Not true. That's actually really a lot more than I do. I usually just go by color or name. So. I'm like, are they going to make eye contact with me and look at their hamstring definition? <laughs> so, just trying to find the one that connects with me. Um... And then we went to the UK football game, which they won, which was awesome, but it was a freaking downpour. Mm-hmm. Massive. It rained so much on massive. Saturday. Oh my gosh. Unreal amount. Yeah. It was a downpour. The field was like, you would see water sloshing up and it was so, I had a, I had a ring coat on and I was soaked through and through. That's, that's a lot of rain. Yeah. It was a lot of rain. Yeah. And my shoes, it was like walking on sponges. No, I can't handle that. It, I no. was soaking. My whole hat was just like wet and I had a raincoat hood over my hat. It was just like, ugh, unreal. So there's that. But we did save money because Adam always gets popcorn, mm-hmm. but it would have been sopcorn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sopcorn. <laughs> sopcorn. So we didn't get any of that. And then um, we went to Red River Gorge and stayed in these tree houses, which was really, really cool. Oh. Yeah. And we walked up to Natural Bridge, which is gorgeous Mm -hmm. and all the fall colors. Nice. Yeah. And so, and then we went to Jack Lantern Spectacular, which is where there's over 5,000 pumpkins that are carved and beautiful and artistic and amazing. And it's to music. And that was cool. It's, like, amazing because it's all dark. There's no lights except for the jack lantern. So mm-hmm. it's just, like, really vibey. It's really very spooky season. Yeah. It's, like, spooky, but, like, ooh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> just like us. <laughs> just like us. We're like, a little bit spooky, but, like, super fun. Super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, yeah. So thus far has been fabulous. Um, what about you? Um, this week has been really good. Um, I'm like, whew, I'm planning the launch party, so that means the going end on. is in sight. The, I see the light. The end of the beginning. Correct. It's like I see, I'm in the tunnel, and I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, so it is, I mean, I'll probably be up and running before the end of our little season here. It'll be like, maybe in like the next two weeks, I'll be up and, up and running, taking orders with um, a marketing campaign out, so I'm, whew. Raw minute, so I'm really stoked. But that's pretty much all I've been doing Love this it. week. It's just working on that. Had a product photo shoot with the amazing Amanda Graves mm. who we had on this. Uh, She's so good. The pod. She is uh, like so so good. And I feel like 
it's kind of difficult to see like what a photographer's vision is, especially when, cause she's incredible, at, like lifestyle portrait, like shooting people. So I couldn't get an idea in my head of like what the, like a product of just like hair ties and scrunchies was going to look like, but like this girl killed it. Like uh-huh. it looked so amazing. It's like, I barely had to give any direction. Like she was just like, let's do this. And I was like, absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's pretty much it. And um, that's that's been my week. Oh, I love it. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Yay. Well, um, the topic of today's podcast is something that I think we've all struggled with. If you haven't struggled with this, I think you probably should learn to struggle with this, mm-hmm. honestly, um, is asking for help Mm -hmm. because we do not know everything no one knows everything and figuring out the right way to ask for help when to ask for help realizing that you need to ask for help it's so important in growing in your profession and growing in your business it is crucial to your development so today we're just going to talk about maybe some of our experiences best ways to ask for help when you gotta know it's time Mm -hmm. and so on I agree Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. I really agree with that I think one of the biggest things is if you're gonna ask for help this is just in general and we can talk about other things like what we've done or whatever but Mm -hmm. you have to make it really clear what you need help with yes because if you are like if you don't make it clear enough sometimes somebody will maybe take over more and then that causes you to ha- be very frustrated yeah so hey i've done this this and this and this and this this isn't the outcome that i want to have can mm-hmm. you please help me with just this correct be very clear yeah because somebody will go in with the best intentions and they'll go to help you and they might to you seem like they're taking over whatever it is but they're really only trying to help you and you failed to be specific let them know what you wanted yeah like this, that's actually a really good point because I had that exact same, that I had that exact thing happen to me, Mm -hmm. um, at my last sales job. I knew I'd like reached out for the first time to an account. I'd called them, introduced myself, um, didn't set a meeting, but I got their contact info, Mm -hmm. then sent an email, then dropped something off. And I wasn't really getting, um, the traction that I wanted. And so I went in and I like asked my boss specifically, I was like, Hey, would you mind if you just like sent out an email and like CC'd me on it and was just like, Hey, like this is, you know, the president of this company. Um, I just want you to know, like, we really, really would love to meet with you. I've CC'd Lee on this. I know she's reached out a few times, blah, blah, blah. Super specific. Mm -hmm. He did it and it actually helped and landed a meeting. Mm -hmm. So as long if you put in the work and you know like hey i specifically need help with this mm-hmm. it can work out for the best i have another example <laughs> of a very similar thing happening with another sales job that i had and i felt like i'd ask for something specific and it very much came off as well i don't think that she's capable of doing this so Like, I'm just going to take over and just, like, from here on out, like, take over for the account. So, I think that in the first instance, I I thought I was specific, but looking back, I probably wasn't as specific as I should have been. Like, Mm -hmm. I felt like, hey, I need help with this account. I need help with landing this account. But I think when you come to a boss and you say, like, hey, I specifically need you to do this, Mm -hmm. or if you have another suggestion, I would love to hear it and love to hear your expertise on it. Exactly. Whenever I have my boss email somebody, I've said, hey, I've done this, this, and this. I just need... Because sometimes people, for whatever reason, we just suck, okay? (laughs) We just suck. And so if someone has a higher title, for whatever reason... It goes longer. It goes farther. It so just makes them feel more special. It and more really important. does. And we gotta just stroke people's ego sometimes. That's what you do. And that's fine. That's what you do. So I was just like, hey, I need someone with your like title to send an email for me, mm-hmm. and then I can take it from there. But I really, if you could just help me with that, you know, just Correct. as specific as that. That's what you gotta do. But asking for help can only lead to make you 
better in your personal life as well as in your professional life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And realizing when it's appropriate to ask for help too. Like I felt for me, I felt humble enough to like reach out and ask for help. And if I wouldn't have like humbled myself and been like, okay, I need help. Yeah. Like, it, pro- it would not have happened. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to realize when is the right time. And it doesn't mean that you're not good. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, incompetent to do this or that. It it will help you. And I bet, like, if anything, if you have a good boss, you're putting out there that you, like, have initiative. And you're like, hey, guess what? Like, I know personally that if you do this, like, this will help the company and this will help your team. Like, mm-hmm. I think that that shows that you are not afraid and not too prideful to go out of your way and go outside the box to make something happen. Yeah, well, there was two things that you said that I really wanted to hit on was the humility thing. Mm -hmm. Being humble is such an attribute and trait that is something that I think we have to work on our entire lives. Yes, we do. It's going to be a nonstop, ongoing road to work on. Yeah. Girl, and I tell think me about it. <laughs> being humble is just such a great quality that you can have. Mm-hmm. It really is because nobody genuinely likes to be around somebody who's just cocky and douchey all the time. Yeah, it's just they like, just don't. You're not helping yourself. You're not helping anyone. You're actually just getting on people's nerves. Yeah, and like you're literally not helping yourself because when it comes to something that you don't know about, truly don't know about, you're gonna get so frustrated and annoyed that you don't know about that thing. And then somebody's gonna be able to do something really good, and you're gonna be frustrated and mad because you're competitive. Yeah, and I think that's something that I really learned is. Mm-hmm. It's okay to ask for help because it's only going to make you better. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you weak. It Mm -hmm. doesn't make you... If you're sitting there expecting somebody to do the job for you, well, you suck. So stop it. Correct. Like, stop that. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Don't don't be that person that wants it all and doesn't want to do anything for it. Don't be that person. Ugh. Anyways. But (laughs) it's different (laughs) if you're... I need help with this. I'm truly stumped. And I know one of my bosses is like, I will help you as long as you need help. If you're coming to me for help, I will do whatever I can to help mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. And we'll find out if it's, you don't understand, if I'm explaining it wrong, if you don't understand it, if you need to try a different approach, mm-hmm. whatever. But it's only going to make you better. It's like technology. If you don't ask, you're going to be so far behind. Yes. And if you don't have a good friend that's really patient with you, then you need a new friend. <laughs> Her name's Lee. She'll be real patient. <laughs> It's okay. Yesterday I had a really just, I almost cried at Safai because I couldn't figure out how to merge my domain name into like my website hosting platform because uh-huh. right now my sci- like site hosting platform has like a dot, because I'm using CrateJoy just so you all know, they've been Oh my gosh, it's been like the best website for a subscription service. If you want to start a subscription service, highly recommend Crate Joy. Wow, they make things so easy and beautiful and good. That's Anyways, awesome. but I have a domain, like my company. I have like the www.monthlymain.com and I tried to merge them and it's like I was following all the instructions and it was still not working. And then the instructions that I had didn't match up. It would be like, go to your DNS page, find this. On the DNS page, there was nothing about that. So it was like, I was going around in circles and I felt like so dumb. And so then I finally was like, Lee, you don't know anything about website building. Mm -hmm. And so I reached out to one of my friends who does. And it was like the simplest of solutions. But like, even she said, people get this wrong all the time. Do not feel bad. Like, this Mm -hmm. is not easy stuff to like read and to read the directions on unless you know about like, People have careers out of it. Correct. Like, <laughs> you, people pay people to help you with this. Like, yes. don't feel bad. Yes. And so, uh, so if you, just to make you feel better, even I had a technology <laughs> problem yesterday. <laughs> and I had to ask for help because I was about to have a mental breakdown. Yeah. Because I, too, I mean, I struggle a lot with being like, no, I can do it. No, I can do it. Mm-hmm. But. You want to do it all. I want to do it all because it's, well, for one. You know, on one side of it, I also want to learn, and I want to learn how to do it all, but it's, like, 
sometimes you can't learn things on your own because you have no idea what a C name or a DNS or an A record is, <laughs> which I do not, I did not, and I still don't really get it, but, like, I know what I have to do now. Yeah. So. Well, and sometimes I feel you can take on all these things, but you can't take on all of it. You can take you know? on a lot of things, but you cannot take on everything. Exactly. That is a very good point. Yes. And, yes. But I feel as though sometimes you get to a point where you don't want to. Like, you don't think anybody can do it as good as mm-hmm. you can. Mm-hmm. Which isn't true, but it might be. I mean, you care about it more than probably mm-hmm. anybody will. Mm-hmm. But you have to delegate it mm-hmm. and trust that people can function mm-hmm. and choose the right people to help. Yes. You know? For sure. You have to be really smart with who you're asking to help. Absolutely. And you made a really good point earlier that I just want to, like, expand on about Mm -hmm. kind of going back to your whole humility thing and kind of trying to make yourself humble. Because sometimes it's really hard to, like, it's like, how do you, like, make yourself humble? Like, without, like knocking your ego down a peg, you know, cause you don't want to make yourself feel bad, mm-hmm. but it's like, I feel like sometimes getting humble is like being, I don't it's, it's kind of lost on a lot of people yes. on like how to achieve that. Um, and I think one of the things that's really worked for me and has been really healthy for me is to not identify yourself as your job. And I think Ooh. it has taken so much pressure off of me because I have always struggled with I don't want anyone to think that I'm, like, dumb or, like, not smart. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people to think that I'm incapable of, like, being successful. It's, Mm -hmm. like, been a huge insecurity of mine for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. But I think that I was putting so much pressure on me to be my job Mm -hmm. rather than just to, like, be Lee and, Mm -hmm. like, try to, like, help out people and, like, you know, like, donate to nonprofits when I can, help my friends out, Mm -hmm. like try to overall like be good to the planet like I think when you start realizing that that is the stuff that is actually going to matter like on your deathbed essentially like it makes it so much easier to humble yourself in your career because you're like oh at the end of the day like this doesn't really matter and for me like it's made me more motivated and more Mm -hmm. successful because it's like oh my gosh I can go after this who cares if it fails I can go after this who gives a crap if I don't know what I'm doing? Like, mm-hmm. I can ask for help, and I don't care if this person thinks that I'm not smart because I don't know this, because that's not that's not a reflection on me. Mm-hmm. I just have not had the same life experiences that you have, that you know this information. Exactly. And it's really, that's an exercise that has personally helped me, and just, mm-hmm. like, switching my mentality to not feeling like I know everything, and knowing that it's okay that I don't know anything, because it really doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of life. Mm-hmm. Well, have you ever noticed that the universe has a way of working to get you to be better? Uh, yeah. Things keep, like, why does this keep happening to me? Why does this keep happening to me? Why does this keep happening to me? Mm-hmm. Because you need to change something. Girl. Take a step back and humble yourself and ask for help. Yes. You don't have to shoulder all the weight. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's, that's such a good point because... Even, like, in, like, personal stuff. Like, Uh you feel like you keep falling into the same, like, toxic, like, thinking or, like, the same, like, negative thinking. And you're like, why is this happening? Why do I always put myself in this situation? Why am I doing this? When sometimes you just need to reach out and ask for help. Whether that's a therapist. Whether that's a support group. Whether that's, you know, getting more in touch with, like, your spirituality. It's Mm -hmm. like, you gotta reach out and ask for help. Because the universe is telling you, girl, you need help. Or it's boy, like, or the whatever. The universe is like, hey, nudge, nudge. Circle back around. That's not how you do it. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, you did it wrong again. Let's circle back around. Mm-hmm. Shove, shove. Oh, did it wrong again, girlfriend. Yep. Circle back around. Knock you on your butt because you're doing it wrong still. Get up. I mean, really. Yes. Just freaking stop doing whatever you're doing that keeps... Yeah providing these horrible cyclical awfulness things in Mm -hmm. your life and ask for help yeah sometimes think of help as like a wake-up call Mm -hmm. think of help as like the next step in you becoming a better person yeah and this is this is really motive like i feel like i just need to ask for help all the time now (laughs) (laughs) i like where this conversation is gone okay that's super yeah and i don't think it's bad here's the other side of it though 
Mm-hmm. Delegation is so important, but don't delegate everything to everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you do have to do the things. Yeah. You know. Because you don't, you don't want things to get out of control and have everything not in your control. Or just have, you have everybody do everything for you. Correct. You don't want that either. Yeah. Just, so there's a balance. Yes. And it's a lifetime to figure out that balance for a lot of people. And yeah. some people, they figure it out. I don't know. But the point of it is it's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. It's okay that you're not perfect. Mm -hmm. It's okay to break a cycle. It's okay. You're going to be all right. Everything's (laughs) going to be okay. (laughs) So just be really precise when you're asking for help so you don't get frustrated if they're not helping you the way that in your head that Mm -hmm. you want them to help because Mm -hmm. people cannot read your mind. Correct. They really can't. Absolutely. And try your best to learn from the help that they give you. Yeah. So that that way you can improve on it in the future. And who knows, maybe you can offer that help and you can pass that on to someone else Mm -hmm. after you've been given that help, Mm -hmm. which is another really important aspect. Like, don't just ask for help and just... I th- I think that you you really hit the nail on the head by saying, like, don't delegate everything out to everyone and have mm-hmm. everyone do stuff for you. Because I think help is a learning experience for you. Yes. And you have to take it as that. Well, I have been very guilty of this before where I've been like, fine, I'm just going to ask somebody to help me. And I let them help me. And I'm just like, okay, I'll just let them do it this time. I like, you just do it. It's Can okay. you just do it? And then, because I'm like, got this going on, this going on, this going on. And so instead of taking the time to learn how to do it and ask all the proper questions, I'm like, can you handle this? <laughs> I know I'm going to have to redo this and then I'm probably going to ask you again, but can you just do this? Mm-hmm. And if it's a really good friend, they'll understand that you're stressed out, but really just take the time and learn it. Yes. You know? So you can do it in the future. Yeah. yeah. So that's all I got for that. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. Well, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap, girl. Um, <laughs> well, thanks for listening today to CJ and Cell Podcast. Only CJ and Cell Podcast for three more episodes. Mm-hmm. I'm so ready to yep. spill the beans and show you guys what we have in store. Um, yeah. But yeah, go ahead. Follow us on CJ and Cell Podcast on Instagram. Um, we'll give you some more direction on like what we're doing so you can follow us on our next venture of a podcast same girl really just st- improved girl yes i was like i'm really struggling with this ending i'm so sorry <laughs> to everyone who's still listening um <laughs> uh, but definitely give us a rating give us a review it helps us a lot um and i guess we will see you next week enjoy your week y'all yay bye, bye.